Welcome to the CSS section of this course. In this video, we shall learn what CSS stands for. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's a simple design language used to make web pages beautiful and presentable. CSS controls the color of the text, the background, the shapes, and it also controls the animation effects you see on a website. CSS also controls the types of fonts we use in our websites and it's combined with HTML to give us this great presentation. In this video, we shall learn how to create a CSS file and also link a CSS file with our HTML file. So to create a CSS file, first of all, we need to create a CSS folder in our root folder. And in this case, our root folder is called projects. We have a subfolder already in our root folder called IMG, where we keep our images. Now let's create another subfolder in our root folder called CSS. To create a folder, you come over here, click on this icon that says new folder. And let's call our folder CSS. Then you press the enter button our folder has been created. We shall store all our CSS files in this folder. Now to create a CSS file with a .css extension like we did with HTML, you come over here to the folder, right click on the folder and select new file. Now let's call our CSS file index.css. As you can see right here, we have an index.css file created. And here we have our index.html file created. Now, there is one more thing we have to do. We have to link the CSS file with the HTML file so that anything we do in the CSS file will be reflected or will be affected on the HTML document and it's going to be displayed on our browser. Now to link CSS, now to link a CSS document with a HTML document, all you do is come to the head tag. This is the head tag here. Under this title, just write link and press enter or tab. Now, let's talk about these attributes. This is a relationship attribute and it's set to style sheets. It means we are trying to link our HTML file to a style sheet. And like we said earlier on, CSS stands for cascading style sheets. We talked about these attributes when we were learning about anchor tags. And we said this attribute is used to point us to a URL, to a path. So right here in the URL, we shall be pointing the HTML document to the path of our CSS file so it can link the HTML file with the CSS file. So to do that, we say in this directory, let's go to the CSS folder and let's go to the index.css. With this, with this, we have successfully linked our HTML file with our CSS file. Now, there is one more attribute I want us to always use when linking our HTML file and our CSS file. And that attribute is called. Now we shall be setting this attribute to text forward slash CSS. And that's all. With this, we have successfully created our CSS file and we have linked our CSS file with our HTML file. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to watch the next video.